So, dash two. We're going to be talking about your persuasive letter. So, what you're going to be doing in this assignment is very similar to what you're going to see on your diploma exam. So, on your diploma exam, you've got three sections. You've got your critical, you've got your personal, which is a reflection on a picture like we just saw in the practice. Then you're going to have your persuasive letter. And what's that, what that is going to look like is going to be a question. And you are going to look at the question, and you're going to have a little two or three pages of research. And you're going to be answering the question using this research. That's your diploma. For this course, however, your big assignment is going to be your persuasive letter. Now, it's similar. It's going to be persuasive, which means you're going to try to persuade somebody to do something or to change what they're doing. And what I want you to do is I want you to find something that's happening in the world today, a current event, something that's really happening. And what you're going to do is you're going to research it, you're going to write a persuasive letter to somebody who could change it. So we actually send it to them? And then you're actually going to send it to them. Absolutely. You're going to print off two copies. One's going to be handed in with your portfolio. One is going to be mailed off and sent to them. And this is first semester, which is great because it might, you might get a response back by the end of the semester. And then you can say, hey, remember that thing that happened in English? We stopped the genocide. No, not really. And I shouldn't joke about that. But I mean, seriously, there are things going on in our local area right now that are affecting us. Like what? Can somebody tell me? Um, Afghanistan. Local area, around here. Highway 3, they want to change. They want to change to do what? <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh no, no, the new transmission line they want to put through. Oh yeah. Okay, tell me about that transmission line. Just quickly, I don't know anything about it. They want construction going on there. Yeah, and they want to, they're still deciding the routes and on okay. people's properties and people don't want it on their property. So it's going to affect people because it's going to be on their properties? In their view. In their view. Okay, so maybe this is something that you care about. Maybe, you want it, maybe your house is affected by this. So you would research the issue. You'd look at why the people want to put in this transmission line. You'd talk to the people who are affected by it. Maybe make a call to whoever is actually constructing it. And then maybe you want to talk to your MP. Or maybe you want to write a letter to your MP saying, I strongly disagree with this. And you'd argue. You'd make your case. So what you're going to be doing is not just writing a letter and saying, I really hate this. This sucks. I really don't like it. Sincerely. No, you're not going to do that. You're going to come up with research reasons why this is a bad idea. Now, I'm not just talking about research from books and from the internet and all that. I'm talking about what people actually think. If it's a local issue, and you can actually talk to people in the area about this local issue, then certainly, by all means, go and talk to them and get their feedback. If you, if you are related to somebody who's part of the power company that's putting this in, see if you can get a little bit of information from this guy. There's got to be public documents about this. They needed to make a proposal to whatever municipalities or cities or whatever were involved in the creation of this. Go see if you can find that. I can help you out with that. Please. I can. Okay. They were also talking about um, Castle Mountain, about the, uh, the forest there. Something about that. Does anybody know anything about that? Who knows? Maybe they're trying to cover it down. Aren't they trying to like, cut it all down? I think they're trying to, yeah, take, they're going to be doing some logging there, I think, yeah, right? Make new runs? Make new runs? More resorts. Uh, no, I think it's, I think it's logging companies. That do this. I don't know. People phoned me and they did a survey on me about it, and they're like, well, we keep the Do you know who called you? No. See. Like a forestry person. Forestry some person. people like all against it. Yeah, they were against it. So if you're against it, if you say, no, I want these trees here. I think we should protect this area. That's something that you can write about. That's something you could do, absolutely. So there's what you choose to do is only limited by what you care about. If you don't care about the trees in the castle, don't do it. If you're interested in ending the war in Afghanistan, even though that's not a local issue, then pursue it. It has to be a local issue. No. So the question was, does it have to be a local issue? It does not have to be a local issue, okay? 
So, you're going to research the issue. You're going to summarize your research, figure out what the position is. Then you're going to write this letter. And this letter is not going to be very long. It should be probably two pages at the most, single-spaced. The reason for that is because if you send it to somebody like an MP, or the Prime Minister, or the head of the logging company, they're not going to want to read 50 pages. One or two pages is going to be sufficient. Cool. So, it sounds easy, but you need to make them two good pages. The words are powerful, leaping off the page. We're talking about quality versus quantity here. So, does anybody have any questions about the term paper? I'm sorry, about the uh, persuasive letter no. for 30-2? No. No, dog. And this is like our fifth module, right? This is your fifth module, yes. This is your final project. Anybody else? Uh, yeah, are we going to have to post this? Are we going to have to post this on the forums, too? Yes. You will post it in the forums as well. For peer editing and for feedback and all that, it's to your advantage. So, anybody else? All right, that's it. Good luck. Bye-bye.